Hey, it's the Terminian Hero here, and we're playing some more The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past. We are in Turtle Rock without a magic potion, which is probably a bad idea, but whatever. Okay, we're gonna want to get our fire rod out at some point. At some point being like now. I probably didn't want to do it like that, because now it's going to run out too fast. Don't you dare run out, Torch! No. Well, there goes valuable magic. How about here, here, and here? There we go. That worked. Can hide in the edges here. Those things are bouncing off those blocks. So we're safe as long as we get into certain spots. We got the map. A little bit of magic, and a key. So, here's what the dungeon looks like. Not a very intimidating looking dungeon, honestly. Not by the map, anyways. Maybe if I play like that... But we know where that key goes. Uh, we're picking between our two red sticks there. That's going to get confusing. It's really easy to mix up the fire rod and the cane of Samaria. By the way, we've still never used the ice rod. Just want to point that out. And hey, look, chain chomps. Not sure if they're called Chain Chomps in this game. I know in in some Zelda games they're called Bow Wows. But yeah, they are Chain Chomps from Mario. Okay. No bitey. No bitey! There's our key. It only costs us a life. <laughs> oh, but looky here. Oh, well, I couldn't catch that one, but I got healed, so it's basically the same thing. Little bit of magic back. I kind of wanted to catch that one, but whatever. We're at full health now. We've also got these totally not pokies. They're not pokies, but they look... They, they act awfully similar. That is the map button. I really need to stop pressing that when I'm trying to... Use an item! I wanted to catch the fairy, please. And it looks like the only place to go here is this way. And what happens when we go through here? Woo! Nice little tunnel. It's like a pipe in Mario. Please let me pick that up. <laughs> and we've got two to choose from here. And I don't know which one to choose. So... It looks like that was probably right. I mean, there was a locked door somewhere else, but I don't know if that other one would have led there. 
Oh no, I'm bunny-fied. Oh no, I got hit. Because I just wasn't paying attention. I'm like, hey, I'm a bunny. I'm just going to stand there and stare at my bunniness. Oh, hey! Fairy out of nowhere! That works. Wow, I actually didn't need that magic. Surprising. Uh, we need a big key to get through that door, so there's nothing we can do here. Uh, we need a big key to get that chest, and we can't even get over to it from here, so there's nothing we can do here. Hello? That looks dangerous. Ah! Okay, I... It looks like the closed ones we want to stay facing away from. And the open ones are just always open and out to ruin your day. Alright. Bomb time. Ah! Shouldn't it have turned around! And hey, it's an exit. Now, what happens if we use the mirror out here? Well, we've been here before, so let's go back. We don't want to just completely exit the dungeon. But over here... We never could have got here before. So now, rather than exploring a Dark World dungeon, we're just exploring the Light World now. And we know how to work with these guys. Oh, but apparently I can't shoot through those. Or those, so that makes it a bit interesting. I can get those guys stuck in there. That works. And that works. Now I'm just gonna hammer these now. That'll make this one a lot easier. And goodbye. We can make it through. And what is this? But the final piece of heart. And the final collectible on the overworld which we got in the middle of doing a dungeon. So there we have it, and we can warp back right back to the Dark World and just enter back into our dungeon. This time right where the big chest is, not that we have a big key yet. So yeah, that is quite an accomplishment. But now, I don't know what we're supposed to do. I guess I went the wrong way when I chose the pipe. Because of course I did. You know, why would I not? Let's turn these guys into fairies, because we can. Let's not push the wrong button. Um, we don't have a key. Let's make that hit the wall. This had better get us a key, otherwise I don't know what to do. There we go. Don't you steal my magic, you stupid anti-fairy. 
Oh gosh, there's an eyeball shooting at me. I should have been facing the other way. There's that big key we were looking for, and then this will go over here, I guess. Hey, a magic refill. Alright, let's head back the other way. Let's go open that chest and make our way through that other door. Of course, we want to prioritize the chest. As the door will lead onward to places that we probably can't get past unless we have what's in the chest. Eyes navigated, which is a really weird thing to say. And we got the, yeah, you found the mirror shield. You can now reflect beams that your old shield could block, couldn't block. So yes, the mirror shield originated from this game. Not Ocarina of Time. And even Zelda 2 had the reflect spell. So in a sense, it kind of originated from that game, but not really. Alright, two bombable walls here. What looks like the better place to go? Well, they both seem to go to what might be a dead end. But this one is a quicker dead end. Well, there's a locked door there, and that chest might be a key. And that has to go downstairs, so I'm gonna go this way. Hmm, that is strange, because I wouldn't be able to push that black from the inside. It would only make sense to be able to push it sideways. So I guess you just can't go in and out of that area. Yeah, okay. And there's bugs coming out of there again, and that's creepy. Why did I do this to myself? Okay. <laughs> Got the key. Uh, got out of there slightly maimed. And now we gotta do this in the dark. Oh boy. And it's a maze, too. A maze that, like, uh, goes over and under other pathways, and we gotta avoid fire bars, and we're not doing a good job at it. Where can I go from this room? It looks like bottom left is the only way, the only actual way to go. Um. Okay, please give me hearts. Some hearts and some magic. Okay, that's gonna not kill me. That only does one heart of damage. Good. What else is around this room? Is that it? Looks like it might be, so I guess we'll just move on now. 
Oh no, there's a thing in the middle. Oh, a switch we need to press to actually open the door out of here. Or maybe that opens the door back, I'm not sure, but I died. Except I've got fairies. Okay, so I want to go this way. And that gets us out of here. So yeah, I needed to hit the switch to get through here. And that place, I think, falls apart. Maybe not. We don't have a key to get through that door. The mirror shield protects us from those eye lasers. Which means I guess we've got a... I don't know how to do that. I guess I just have to time things well. That's pretty ridiculous. And that was scary. Oh my gosh. And for good reason, because it was lethal. Okay, can we not? There's the key we need. And I don't think we need to go any further this way, but we will. I think this is an exit. Yep. An exit to nowhere, really. If we try to use the mirror here. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we... This is a... Yeah, that's a place we would have been able to get to before. But that exit is important not only as an exit, but because it's a save point if you get a game over. Because, you know, this now counts as the place where we entered the dungeon from. Get out of here! And we might get a game over, because... Okay, we got two fairies left. Ah. Puzzly, mazy. Don't press that button when you're trying to use the item. Got my fairy. A crystal switch maze. Oh, hey, another fairy out of nowhere. Stop pressing that button when you want to use the item. You're so far through the game. Why haven't you got it down yet? Okay. Oh. Alright, I can get another fairy from here. Oh my gosh! What is wrong with me? I'm not really sure where I want to go here. There's a place to go up, but surely there's stuff over to the left here, right? I'm contradicting myself by saying left and right, but that's a different kind of right, so it's okay. It, we're trapped in here now, bub! Okay. Oh, I no longer have sword beam. Anyways... Let's head down the stairs here. Get some more magic. This feels very finale-like. And for good reason, we're through already?
We missed a... We missed a room. Why did... Why did we miss a room? We have all the dungeon items. I'll explore that room later. Oh, I probably should have ended the episode because it's kind of long. But this is Trinex. I guess it's extended a little now. So, yeah, we want magic for this. You have to use the fire rod on the ice head. And the ice rod on the fire head. And you need a good amount of magic. So... Oh, but you can, once you hit him, you can hit him with your sword. Let's actually use the ice rod for the first time! So yeah, the fact that I've wasted a bit of magic could be a problem. All right, I've destroyed the fire head. Now I gotta get my fire rod back out to fight the ice head and hopefully I'll have enough magic. And I did have enough, assuming I don't need any more. So now he's this big rocky snake, and I just have to hit his center. And he is kind of good at homing on me. But I am better at fighting him. Give me the maximum amount of hearts you can have in the game. It was right on me. And give me the final Maiden Zelda. I just realized what's going to happen after this. I appreciate your coming so far to rescue me. As I thought, you are the legendary hero. I have felt this from the first time we met. Ganon is waiting inside of his tower to pass through the gate linking the two worlds. Once Ganon enters the light world, it is unlikely that anyone can stop him. But if he stays in the closed space of this world, you can find him wherever he runs. Now go to the Tower of Ganon. We will use our combined powers to break the barrier. Let's return peace to the country without fail. Do you understand? Yes. May the way of the hero lead to the Triforce. And thankfully, the thing that I thought was going to happen isn't going to happen. I forgot that's at the end of the next dungeon. Because I want to be able to re-enter here quick to actually, you know, go to that room that we missed somehow. I seem to remember not knowing what to do in that area. I don't quite remember how to get there. Okay, so just continue on through the dungeon like normal. I'm gonna get there and it's just gonna be like a trap room or something. Like, oh hey, you picked the wrong room, now you gotta fight some enemies to get out and that's gonna be all it is. Wouldn't that be funny? Alright, so let's take our pipe. Actually, we can get a fairy while we're here. That would be a good thing to get before Ganon's tower. Well, I wanted to actually catch it, game, but whatever. 
Not even gonna bother wasting time going for those. So, this way, I think? Oh, um, how do I get up there? That's right, this part is confusing. But I think we're going the right... Way, maybe, maybe not. No, we're not going the right way at all. Well, since this guy is here again, let's try this again. There we go, caught one. I also remember there's that place with a great fairy's fountain and a fairy's fountain right by Ganon's tower. So I guess let's go this way. I always go the wrong way whenever I encounter those two pipes. Not just in this playthrough, in every playthrough I've ever done of this game. Whether it be Super Nintendo version or Game Boy Advance version. These things can be dangerous because their bodies bouncing around the room. I don't think I can. Oh, I can go. I can go this way. And this should get us right by that room. Right, this. What the heck am I supposed to do here? Like, honestly. What item did I even get in this place? It was the mirror shield. Well, how is that gonna help? Uh, you know what? I'm gonna end the video here and figure this out between videos, okay? I'm the Terminian Hero, and I will see you next time when we go to Ganon's Tower. See you then.